All right, everybody, I hope you're doing well. This video is addressed to a guy in England uh, whose YouTube channel is called uh, Peninsula Painting Projects. Um, got to talking with him a few weeks ago, and I forgot to do a video uh, showing my uh, gray hunters. So uh, keep, in keeping with the Space Wolves tradition, I have this well, about 70-year-old axe has double bitted, and I'm going to do a project refurbishing this axe and making it into a sort of a war axe. So I'm going to kind of reprofile this this uh, uh, head, and I'm going to make a more pronounced beard and a more pronounced horn, and you know, kind of you know give it a new edge and you know m m beauty it up a little bit because this is a very good axe head. Um, it's just old and beaten up and neglected. So um, I chopped this off here. I'm going to be pounding this out and putting a new handle in but before I do that I'm going to reprofile this and I might put a horn in the middle um, and you know have a horn here and here and then a horn in the middle um, I don't know I'll see how I like it um, with this fat wide uh, neck on this on this haft it might be interesting to have the, the, the horn in the middle of this, so I I'll, I might just go with the standard arc and arc for my beard and my horn, but uh, yeah, definitely show this guy some love, and then I'm I'm going to 100% do some engraving on it. I have a piece here I kind of copied this old guy. Uh, he had a channel where he was doing some engraving on an axe. I need to get a diamond bitted engraver because the one I have doesn't it. It engraves, but it doesn't go in very far on this really hard steel. I'm guessing this is like a 1080 or 1095 steel. It's very, very hard. Um, but I did sort of a Kievan Rus pattern here with the dragon scales and the sort of the stripes of triangle. I'm going to put a little bit of a knot work in here. Kind of how the, this, uh, y you can find it on YouTube. Uh, the guy does basically this exact pattern, but I kind of wanted to copy it for the, just this one axe. And, Here's my, you know, design on the other side. Um, but I did it on another axe. Um, my own design. I did sort of a knot work. Uh, Fenrir the wolf. Um, you know, the knots are passing in and out of each other. But um, the engraver, this axe is a little bit harder than the other one. And uh, I need to get a diamond bit ac or not a diamond bit engraver because my engraver didn't cut in very far, very far. Um, so when I patinaed this, the engraving just disappeared. Um, you can see I have the two runes: one rune representing the gods, and one representing smiting. So you can see it says, you know, God smite. That sort of H shape rune there. Um, that's what it'll be called, God Smite, and because uh, I want to swing it with this, the uh, strength of an angry god. On the on the reverse here, I'm gonna have a uh, Norse warrior with a with a Norman helmet and a sword stabbing his, you know, basically puncturing the mouth of a serpent with his sword, um, and you know have his have his back end all knot works and have more runes here. Um, so that's sort of what I'm going to do to this guy right here once I reprofile this and you know lighten this up a whole lot because this is about a five pound axe head um, but yeah that's so getting into the miniatures um, here's my old painting style I used to do um, starting out with this guy let's see if my camera focuses um, this is a gray hunter Brian Red Maws second great company uh, that's why their mouths are all painted red uh, sort of like a war paint that he used to do. He's got a power sword um, and red shoulder pads. Uh, the gray I use is just a kind of a standard matte gray and then I go over it with a blue ink to give it sort of a cooler shade and then I go back over it with the same base matte color, uh, the same base gray color uh, that I used to uh, you know base coat him and um, it gives it a nice effect, and I just use light gray on all the top surfaces. I don't, I don't go over, overdone with the edge highlighting or anything. Um, so yeah, that's, and then I, you know, of course, 
give all the gold a accents. I don't do any edge highlighting on the gold. I just give it a black ink wash because it's sort of dingy, um, you know, like artifacts. So, and then for the power sword, I just did kind of a, uh, like a really light robin's egg blue and white. And then I washed it with that blue ink and it kind of gave it a nice translucent color. Um, yeah, so you can see that. Uh, and then I have another gray hunter here. He's He doesn't have his helmet on. I made his eyes red. Um, of course, he's got that red paint on his mustache and, and goatee. Um, there's my hand-painted brand Red Moss emblem on his shoulder pad. It looks horrible, but, you know, whatever. Um, but you can see I just kind of did sort of a very loose darker gray matte color not overly blue um, and just very simple colors whites golds reds and of course the gray color I made most of my space wolves brunettes or black haired and only a few of them blonde because uh, the trope of the like the the red-headed space wolf is sort of overplayed um, most Rus or you know Slavic or Swedish uh, Vikings um, weren't necessarily blonde-haired, so I, you know keeping in the tradition, uh, give them sort of darker hair. There's a guy with his helmet on. I did the Aquila on his chest in red. I thought it'd be a cool effect. The two wolf tails on, over his groin, uh, brown-haired wolf and a black you know black-haired wolf gray haired uh, his combi bolter again keeping everything sort of dingy and um, muted and there's that emblem on the shoulder pad but and there's red eye lenses so and then here's another gray hunter with his helmet off um, again brown hair He's got a bionic eye. There's that emblem. I'm a big fan of the uh, Space Wolves. I like their lore. Um, again, I mostly just painted the miniatures uh, when I did this and, and uh, read the books. I still read the books. The Horace Heresy novels are pretty interesting. Uh, I really like the book Prospero Burns, and I like the short story... Uh, Wolf at the Door uh, in the Tales of Heresy novel. Um, that's a really good one. Wolf at the Door is an excellent sci-fi short story. It's wonderful. Um, really encapsulates sort of the identity of the Space Wolves. Um, now, I have some new models that I had just picked up when the uh, Primaris Marines were launched. I wanted to make some Primaris Space Wolves. So here I have a, a shield guy with a sword and his yelling mohawked face. There, I have yet to paint these guys. I don't have much time to do this stuff, but here's sort of a customized space wolf guy. I like the Primaris because their legs are actually proportioned to their body. They don't look like they got, you know, twigs for their thighs. You can see there's his power sword. This guy usually has a really tall mohawk. I think the tall mohawk head looks really stupid. So I chopped it down to a reasonable length for a mohawk. But I like this head. I like his expression. He's just yelling. And then I gave him a backpack with wolves on it. Nothing simple. He's got a little pla you know, pistol in his holster. And of course his storm shield. Really cool. Um, and then I've got this guy with a power fist. Let's see if it focuses. There we go. Power fist. Emblem on his shoulder. He's got a really cool face with a mustache and mutton chops. And I, I scratched off the Aquilas on their chest plates. Um, just to you know, make them less uh, 
more space will be. Um, give him a combi bolter from a Horus Heresy box set. I thought that having side-by-side uh, -side bolters would be sweet for this guy. And a big wolf pelt shoulder shoulder pad. Um, you know, his helmet's on his hip there. And uh, I attached that helmet because I thought it looked cool to have his helmet on the side there. Um, and, uh, you know, just a regular old Primaris easy to build kit. This was like a $10 kit for the three bottles. And, you know, I had some old Space Wolf stuff lying around. So, yeah, that's that guy. I, I really like his pose. He's very aggressive. He's leaning forward, looking like he's going to wrestle somebody. Um, and this guy in particular, I like a lot. He's got those two big knives in the front of his belly. He's got a bolter just one arming it uh, really cool face with a top knot big beard and I gave him extra magazines a big power axe the wolf on it and of course you've got an emblem on this yeah, I'm just a big fan of these Primaris models just because of their scale they're really big um, which I like a lot. I'm not going to play, you know, any more 40k. I don't really have any interest in doing it. But I like these little models just for you know, the craft. I, I gave him some scarring on his. You can see a big gouge on his chest plate there, and one on the side of his leg, one on his knee. Just to give him a little bit more battle scarring. Make him, you know, make him really mean. Also, this guy was bald with a top knot, so I scratched in a hairline. Um, so that he, you know, he doesn't look like he's like an old guy. He looks like he's a, you know, a guy who's got a big long head of hair, and uh, just pulled it up into top knot to go into battle. Um, I'm not a fan of the old man space wolves look. I think, you know, it's cool to have a few of those gray-haired guys, but you know, vigorous Vikings weren't old men. They were, you know, young men who went into battle, mighty guys. So. Uh, and the Kievan Rus, which the Space Wolves are based on the Rus, um, they basically were the uh, body, the Varangians were the bodyguard of the uh, uh, Eastern Roman Empire in Constantinople. Uh, the king of Constantinople used uh, Swedish and Russian, Russian Vikings uh, as his bodyguard. It's really cool. So that's kind of what the Space Wolves are based on. So there's the three of them all together. Again, these are just a little painting hobby thing as I can go. I don't really have much time to do them, but, you know, I like the way they look. That'd be a cool little, cool little project. I really like Games Workshop's sculpts. Yeah, that's just a little project. Um, I'm not sure how well these are going to show up, but I have this old Space Wolves metal miniature from back in the day. This guy's got a really cool beard. Um, he's got like Mark III power armor with the plates and the big plates in the front. Um, I just kind of spruced him up a little bit, gave him extra magazines. He's got rivets all over his body, so I Give him a shoulder pad with rivets all over it. You know, give him an iron armored uh, forearm and an old, old, you know, old style bolter. So he's just pointing at somebody. He's got this big F off axe with a spike on the back and a skull. Just a really cool metal miniature. I'm a big fan of the old uh, second edition metal miniatures. Give him this big exhaust pipe backpack. These these models are just really cool. He's got these wolf tails hanging off the bottom of his armor. Um, little pistol in his holster. I'm just a big fan of these. These are just you know little things I've collected over the years. I don't plan on doing much with them, but just, I just have them. Um, I got this guy here. He's uh I don't remember what he is. He's got a big mustache. It's braided. Got these big machetes mounted on his belly. 
uh, gave him a power claw, uh, kind of turned him into a de facto Bjorn the Fell-Handed. I figured Bjorn the Fell-Handed could have a power fist and a power claw. Um, so yeah, just a really cool miniature. He's like shouting the top of his lungs. He's got fangs in there. You probably can't make out the detail, but his, his little teeth have fangs. It's really cool. Just a really brutal looking dude. And these are like cool little things. As my kids grow up, I'll, I'll you know, show them these. We can play with them or paint on them or whatever, you know. Um, I've got a old Ragnar Blackmane that I'd never painted. I like this guy a lot. Um, got a big sword, big wolf pelt. I have the backpack uh, over on my shelf. I just didn't bring it over. I'm just a big fan of these old metal miniatures. There's something about having a piece of metal in your hand that's in the shape of a mighty warrior. It's kind of nerdy, but you know, whatever. People have their little trinkets. Um, especially with these space wolves, you know, superhuman spaceman vikings and, you know, old, you know, Rus warriors from back in the, uh, you know, 10th and 11th century sent out into the stars to do battle against mankind's enemies. Here's a Ulrich the Slayer that I had. It's an old miniature. Some of these miniatures are from like the, you know, 1992. I have his backpack over on the shelf too. I just never put it on. I love his cloak. Really cool fur. It's just cool to, you know, look at this. Look at these old miniatures I used to goof around with when I was a kid. I just kept them in a box and then, you know, said, hey, I got those things and I have I made a little, little shelf for him and have him up there. Here's a iron priest. This guy's got a big claw, like a Doctor Octopus claw that comes out his back over the right hand side. He's got all sorts of details all over his body. These were so cool when I was a kid to you know have these in my hand and paint on them and stuff. You know, you can see my. Paint on them and make them look deadly, and so uh, you know, as I, you know, maybe in the future, as I paint these guys, you know, I'll paint these guys the same way I did these guys, just that matte gray with a blue ink wash and a, you know, matte gray highlight and you know, little light highlights here and there, and you know, make them make them terrifying. So that's who you know, that's who the space wolves are. They're the emperor's executioners. They're terrifying. But uh, you know, again, I'll keep everyone updated. I hope you enjoyed that, man. I um, appreciate you talking with me. Um, I'm going to keep everybody updated on this double bitted battle axe because I think it's a really cool opportunity to restore uh, a little piece of history and make it a uh, cool fighting weapon. It'd be, you know, I don't plan to go to war with a double bitted axe but you never know if the world ends I might just pull this out get my AK and a double bitted axe and fell some commies or some uh, traitors to America who knows uh, just a cool little project though uh, you know that's my little video on my space wolves uh, hope everyone has a good rest of their day and I'll uh I'll talk to you later.